Commanders! Welcome to the fourth part of our guide series. Today we're going to discuss five vehicle classes that are available in Armored Warfare. Let's start with the most popular and universal class of all, called Main Battle Tanks. MBTs in short are exactly what their name suggests, actual modern tanks. They are a universal class of vehicles that is suitable for any role on the battlefield and can be found in the middle of the thickest fighting, pummeling each other into submission. They can generally rely on their thick armor to carry them through the day, as well as on their reasonably effective armament, but they are rarely highly mobile. There are several branches of them in the game, each requiring somewhat different playstyle. Soviet and Russian tanks are generally excellent close combat fighters, but lack the accuracy to be effective at long ranges. Israeli and American tanks are very universal and good at everything, although they are perfect at nothing. German MBTs, on the other hand, are their polar opposite with their excellent firepower and accuracy, but only average armor. They are the class snipers and should be played so. Chinese and French tanks are highly mobile, as well as accurate, but lack the armor of their Russian counterparts, while the British MBTs have the best level of protection in the game, but also only mediocre firepower and poor mobility. You should choose your MBTs depending on your preferred playstyle, but always remember, with this class, you will be expected to lead the charge and protect your more fragile teammates with your armor. Even so, this class is the most suitable for new players. Next on the list is the Tank Destroyer class. Tank Destroyers are the ultimate snipers of armored warfare. There are two types of them, the ones with the guns and the wheels and the other ones that are based on guided missiles. Each of them requires very different approach. Guns fire fast and can hit their targets almost instantly, but for low amounts of damage. Missiles deal a lot of damage, but fly relatively slowly and are susceptible to various countermeasures such as APS and special types of armor. Tank destroyers are also typically quite fragile. All in all, this class requires some skill and familiarity with the game. Tank destroyers need to rely on stealth for success, which means that their owners must know where to hide and when to run. However, if you prefer sniping to all-out battles, this class is excellent for you. The opposite of tank destroyers is the light tank class. This class too requires some degree of skill, but its playstyle is radically different. Instead of sniping, light tanks are expected to make daring dashes across the battlefield, flanking their opponents while operating behind enemy lines. They are like main battle tanks, only lighter, much faster, but without most of the MBT armor. This too makes them fragile, but not as much as the tank destroyer, and they typically also dish out a lot of damage over short periods of time. The most difficult machines to play are, however, the armored fighting vehicles. This class is the lightest and the most fragile, but also the fastest and the stealthiest in the game. Their main purpose is to provide intel for the entire team by spotting the enemies before they themselves get noticed. This process requires a lot of skill, especially in PvP, which means they are typically not suitable for new players. There is a group of AFVs that are not as challenging though. These are the heavy tracked infantry fighting vehicles, which are not only able to take some damage, but they can also deploy mechanized infantry and can therefore provide excellent fire support to any attack or defense. And last but not least, there are the self-propelled guns. This class is generally available only in PVE and global operations due to its ability to fire over obstacles and at long distances. This class is rather easy to play since you can hit the targets that cannot hit you back, but also completely defenseless in close combat and generally very difficult to use on city-based battlefields. As such, it represents an interesting casual niche for players who prefer simple, mouse-based gameplay. There are, of course, exceptions to the descriptions above. Armored Warfare contains hundreds of vehicles that are yours to explore. In the next part of the series, we'll discuss various upgrades and the economy of the game. But until then, see you on the battlefield!